Hey there and welcome to Draco Does It. Today we're going to be checking out our oil and the color and consistency of it. An easy way I'm going to show you to check if you need an oil change. Alright, as usual, let's get right to it. Alright, tools you're going to need. Some white paper towels will come in handy and some gloves. Whether you use the, the plastic ones or the rubber ones, whatever you want to use. Um, those will come in handy. I think I'm just going to throw these guys on for now. The white paper towel is so that we can check out the color of our oil. Move these gloves. So, look at your dipstick and then pull it out. And what you want to do is you can look at the color on the dipstick itself, um, but what you want to do actually is kind of wipe it on the paper towel and do both sides. And what you want to do is compare the colors. And I'm trying to get some sunlight on it so you can really see the difference. And so, this right now, my oil is pretty darn clean. There's a slight, slight tan or brown tint to it, but it's it's really honestly pretty super clean. And I'll bring it over here more to the, the light. And so that's what you want. You want like a nice yellow color. Most oil when you first start out is very, very, it's very, very yellow. Um, and so if, you're, if it's black or it's very, very dark, and I'll show you some graph, graphs on the screen, but you don't, you don't want that. So this is looking really, really yellow, really, really clean, which is good. It's the way I want it. And I'll show you a couple. And now some oils that I'll talk about too, you know, they have a little bit of different difference in the texture and the color, the color of them. So what I'm going to show you now is what clean oil looks like and what was on my dipstick. This is clean oil. It's brand new oil. It's got a little bit of an orange tint to it. Some are more yellow than others. Some are a little bit more orange compared to others based on the additives that are in the oil. If it's a high mileage oil or it has anything added to it. So, and this oil is in consistency with, with what I'm seeing on my napkin. And this is brand new clean oil. That's what it should look like. This is dirty oil. Dirty black oil that needs to be changed. It's very, very dark. And you can see the differences here big differences in the oil color and what you're looking for on your vehicle. So it's how it starts out and then it can end up looking like this. Now if you're looking at black oil on your napkin, we're going to take some and wipe it on our napkin. It'll be very, very apparent, very, very apparent of the color differences on the napkin of the oil. One will be very, very dark or brown or black. Black is really bad. Brown, dark brown and dirty needs to be changed and the nice clear yellow is what you want. And it's easy to see on a nice white napkin or a white piece of paper uh, the colors of your oil and what you're looking for. Oil was pretty darn clean on my uh, car. Let's check the let's check the truck. So we're gonna wipe. This one's got a little bit more brown too, it, but it's still pretty clean. I knew I had more miles on this truck, and so. I wanted to see the difference. You can see the difference. It's more brown than it is yellow, like my car, because this one has more miles on the oil change than the other oil. And so we're still looking pretty darn good, though, as far as color and consistency. So just remember, not all cars are the same. I know people have oil change sensors, depending on newer cars. Um, and if you don't track your mileage, you should. Um, sometimes the car tells you, sometimes it doesn't, depending on what you're driving. But you can always tell by pulling your dipstick, taking a look at the color and the consistency of your oil, and finding out if it's time for an oil change. I hope this helped you out, and I'll see you next time.